Hello and welcome back to Midnight Who Vlog. My name is Patrick, and tonight I'm going to be starting a new sort of series on the channel uh, where I go back and review movies that I have watched like a long time ago and don't remember all that well or didn't like the first time that I watched them. So go back and give them a second chance and then review them, which is the case with tonight's uh, subject which, as you may have gathered from these. And this is the original Star Wars uh, New Hope. Uh, this is not the tape that I watched. This one is just a prop because it's still sealed, uh, and I plan to keep it that way. The last time I watched it was about 12 years ago or so, maybe a little bit more. And at the time that I watched it the first go-around, um... I had no interest in space or science fiction or anything like that, so I didn't really care for the movie the first time I watched it. But I rewatched it uh, two nights ago, and I actually rather enjoyed it. I thought it was much better the third time around because I didn't have as many distractions, and I'm more into science fiction now. So, uh, as far as the graphics, I mean they're. They pale in comparison to today's graphics, but uh, and by graphics I'm referring to the special effects. Um, but they are really amazing for the time period. Um, about uh, Luke Skywalker and Han Solo, along with C-3PO and R2-D2, going to save uh, Princess Leia first, and then the galaxy by destroying the Death Star. Earlier. That's really all I can say about it, because that's really all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Um, there, I mean, there's a lot more like undertones and things like that I'm not going to get into. But it's a good movie, and I'm glad I ended up giving it another chance. Because, as I said the first two times, I didn't really care for it. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, as far as a rating out of five, I'd probably give it a four and a half, because it's still not my favorite movie, but it was really, really good. So, if you haven't seen it, go watch it if you like space and science fiction. If not, then you probably won't care for it, so, you know, don't. But, uh, that's all I have. So, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed. And I'm a liar. That's not all I have, because... I'm going to, right now, give the first hint towards what my costume for Gallifrey is that I've been being rather secretive about. Uh, and this right here, my funny hat, is the first hint. It's not quite done, I still have to paint it, but it is character with this style of top hat is your first clue. Feel free to leave your guesses in the comments, and as well as any movies that you think I should try and rewatch. Uh, I'm trying to stick with things that were made or released uh, pre-2005 at the latest, um, as is the case with the Star Wars, which was released in 77. We'll eventually watch the other ones. They're not going to be reviewed though on here because I'm reviewing the first one. And, uh, yeah. Uh, one thing I do think is odd before I actually end the video is that with this, because it has the original uh, QR codes on it still, and it's got the one that's printed on the box, which was sent to everybody, and then it's got these two here which have the same store codes, so they came from the same store, but they're different codes. So this one ends in 08219, and this one ends in 60013. Um, but all three codes are different, and what confuses me about that is why didn't they take the uh, barcode sticker from the store and just cover the original? And then why didn't they, when they, I'm guessing, changed the price just cover the old original barcode that they had put on the sticker. And, uh, 
yeah, it just it just seems complicated to me that there's three barcodes. So I'm not sure how they knew which one was which. But anyway, so that's really all I have. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a fantastic night. Thank you.